people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Now, people, we have some good poor poor in a Jamaica. We have some very bad poor poor in a Jamaica. We have some poor poor that are there to serve and protect. Some of them are there to hustle, especially those working traffic enforcement. Now, I received a video maybe a couple of days ago. However, I am just getting to it. Apparently, in this video, a lady and a man, she sounds like a foreigner. She was on one of our highways in Jamaica and she was pulled over by a traffic pawpaw. Now, apparently, there was some sort of bridge of communication, language barrier. However, she spoke English even though her English is in a different accent. It kind of sounded like she's from some sort of Spanish country. However, it seems as if the poor poor did not explain himself properly, what he was saying to her, and she seems as if she interpreted what he was saying as to, are you going to left or right? Left mean left a thing? Or I am going to write a ticket. However, people like me say, there was language barrier. There was a bridge of miscommunication. The bridge gone. The bridge broke down. So therefore, she started to expose our dear Paul Paul. And saying that he wanted her to give him some sorts of monetary gain. However, she was not having it. She went on live. She went on social media. And she was exposing this officer. People, take a listen, take a look to this beautiful bean footage, and then I'll give my piece. So you see the ceiling, Everybody see him. I tell this man, I don't have money for a ticket. Now he give me a ticket. I don't have money for a ticket. Get One out. Two. You One are two arresting two. me. One this two is two. arrestment by the law. I gotta tell Andrew Owens, these policemen need better treatment and better training. I can show the world who you are. I don't care. And the license you plate. Break the law. You break the law. This man is a wicked man. I speed, speed limit you know 20. Now, people, I was not there. I can only go by the video to put this into context. We said two different people, two different story, polar opposites. The man, the officer said that she was going 152 kilometers per hour. We know say, the highest on any of the highways is 110. And then on most of the highways, it is 80 kilometers, meaning about 50 something miles per hour. However, it seems as if the person that was in the vehicle with this lady, he obviously might have been Jamaican. However, he was having no sorts of part of it. Him sit down, him lay in the cut, him sit down upon some sorts of rail, upon the highway. And we see that the lady, the girl, she was the more outspoken one. And she was telling this officer, listen, you are up to no good. You are trying to get me to pay you money directly instead of the money going through the system, the legal way. However, I am going to expose you. And we see that this officer was reacting based on what this lady is saying. So people, me just say, isn't it kind of weird that these officers are on the road? Isn't it kind of weird that they don't know who to ask for a tip, endorsement of them? Being on the road, making sure that the roads are safe and secure. You cannot just ask just about anybody. You cannot be so licky licky and bare face. You have to know when to go and when to pull back. However, people like me say, some of them, they are so blatant and they get themselves in trouble. 
Now, people, the truth and the fact is that we know that these officers are pretty much given basket to carry water. Their pay and the risk that they take, the amount of job that they do or work that they do, it does not equate or they are underpaid. Some understand sometimes they need some sorts of endorsement. Sometimes you can't say officer buy a lunch. However, when them too licky licky, when them too blatant and brazen, people are going to put them in a them place. They are always going to get caught with their hand in a the cookie jar in a some sorts of B-R-I-B-E-R-Y. And people, I think that in this case, that is the case. Point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, people, like I told you before, the end of the year, festive season, there's going to be a whole lot of robberies. There's going to be a whole lot of purses losing their life. It has got ton up. Now, I am speaking about a video that has been making its round on social media. Based on the information, it is said that this took place in a place called Christiana. In this video, that was taken in a some sorts of infrastructure wholesale establishment. We could see that there were two men, look like in about them late teens, early 20, couldn't older than 25. They were the suspect, they were the stick up kids. One of them arms up with some sorts at nine, some sorts at four fifth. Him pull up, acting as if he was buying something, wheel and pop off, push it in the face of the cashier who happens to be one of those wholesale people. When I saw that, I said to myself, this is not a person that is versed in the art of robbery 101. This is apprentice and people, I am going to tell you why. Because if this person had any sorts of skills or even better yet, was willing to take the risk that he could have disarmed this person, take what the tool from him. However, he might have figured and thought wisely. Listen, I better me lose the cash, lose the load for the day than end up lose my life because whenever I lose my life, I don't stand a second chance. And maybe the other person also had a toll. However, people, I doubt that he did. Because if two people have toll, two of them would have brandished it. It is only simple mathematics. It makes common sense. So anyways, them stick up the man. I take all sorts of cash and people, I have the video. However, because of YouTube's policy, we see say, they might try water down the thing. So whenever I put up any stuff like that, and it shows anybody's life in D-A-N-G-E-R, them kind of get them feelings. So therefore, I am going to put it in my WhatsApp group. So anyways, them start empty the cash register, demand all of the cash, and the cashier obliged, put all of the money, the loot in our bag, and then before they leave, them ask for some sorts of top shelf liquor. Could not recognize what it was, but I saw when the cashier passed them two bottles, tall bottle, me don't know if I any say, me don't know exactly what it was. However, I realize that this is a trend that they have. Whenever them stick up any sorts of place, not only them want cash, they also want cigarette. Them also want rolling paper and most importantly, for celebration mode, they want some sort of top liquor to pretty much lie down, sit down and celebrate and talk and laugh about their hits, about the bingo. Now people, apparently some of these youths don't realize what is going on. They have not read the notice board. They are not properly informed what goes down when certain set of people gets robbed, lose them life in a, any source of danger. These people, I am speaking about rich people, may I talk about the poor poor and may I talk about the infrastructure people. Don't know if it is coincidental. However, 
it seems as if whenever they get become victim, there is an additional effort, more effort, manpower, and willingness to solve these crimes and people. I think as it pertains to the JCF, they have maybe about a 99.5 percentage to 100 percent of solving these crimes, getting these suspects in a custody. So I should expect nothing but the past based on what I've seen, no sorts of indication that this will change. Now here's the thing. These two men that were in this establishment, them have a totally like flimsy mask. So therefore, you could see their face. You could see the definition in their face. And the reason why I am going to put this in my WhatsApp group is so people that know them will easily recognize them. Recognize their demeanor. Recognize the body structure. Recognize just about everything and people. That is how usually these crimes are solved. Because a lot of times, let's face it, usually these youths are some S-C-U-M-B-B-A-G-S. Menace to society. So therefore, they have crossed one or two people. Usually, it is not like back in the past when these people play any sorts of Robin Hood role. Meaning, them take from the rich and get to the poor. No, people. These persons are even robbing them neighbor, them next door neighbor. They are robbing from the poor and they themselves are just some poor human being. Meaning, ethically and morally. So, people, hopefully this crime will be solved ASAP and even better. Hopefully, the poor poor can send these two individuals to a place where there is no sorts of return. May I talk about the graveyard, point blank, and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, on the roads of Jamaica, there are a couple of people that seems to be the main contributors. The ones that are involved in 99.9% .9 of any sorts of mishaps on the roads. They are taxi driver. They are minibus driver. They are also bike riders, young, young people. Now, people, I received a very disturbing video the other day. In that video, there was some sorts of mishap between a taxi man and also a bike man. And people, in the video, there was a man foot stuck in the bumper of a cab. I mean, the foot five toes about above the ankle. Based on the information, there was some sorts of A C C I D E N T. Don't know who was wrong. Don't know how they connect. However, whatever happened, this you that you see on the screen right here, he lost a leg during the whole process. Now, people, it is sad when there is any sorts of A C C I D E N T. However, a lot of times it is avoidable. A lot of times, it could have been prevented. However, people, just like the theme in Jamaica, it seems as if Jamaica is a madhouse, Bellevue Central. It seems as if Jamaica is a Netflix series. Anything that you can imagine, it will happen. And even stuff that you will never imagine. Because, people, for the life of me, how did this man foot get taken off in at the bumper of a cab while he was riding his bike. People only in Jamrock. However, you know that this is YouTube, so therefore, because of their protocol, I cannot show this video, display this video. However, if you want this video, I will have it. I will send it in my WhatsApp group. You could get it. 1-876-894-2711. Just say that you want the video with the man foot in at the cab. Leave your name. Say you want to join the group, do not video call me, do not call me, just send a text. Simple as that, one, two, three. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos, straight to the point, no sorts of beating around the bush. Show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, word to the wise, whenever you are rising in life, 
there's always going to be a set of vipers. These persons, they have insecurity problem and they are filled with hate. They see your greatness. They see that your potential is in the stratosphere. Your ceiling is in the stratosphere. They realize that their ceiling is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. So therefore, for them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down, point blank and period.